This video will serve as a tutorial for the Automoblox wheel and as we go through we'll utilize some of the same sketch tools and everything we've learned in order to create this part. So to get started we'll see that we're going to create a series of four circles onto a sketch plane. So what we'll do is utilizing the origin, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to create one circle though and we'll use the offset tool. The only circle that we have off of that off of that that we get a dimension is a dimension of 0.44 so rather than go through and have to draw four circles and then dimension them all out to be at a certain thickness what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the offset tool and when I click on this circle I'm going to start dragging inward to set the first circle that shows up or the smallest one so the dimension is going to be 0.05 so as far as from the distance between the two circles, I'm going to say offset again, choose, make sure to, that I choose the 0 .44 circle, go out to the outside edge, it'd be a 0 .35 dimension there, and then as I go out from this time, I want to choose the larger circle I just drew, click on it to offset, and come out to be 0 .05 on that one as well. So the offset tool keeps you from having to redraw and utilize the circle tool several times to create this part. As I look, I will go through and say finish sketch. I will need to extrude this part to be 0.57. Now there are a couple different profiles in this that I'm going to have to choose from. I will choose the t between the two s outer circles to create this part. And then also, I might have to rotate inside a little bit, I'm going to choose the two inner circles so it looks like this. Once I go through and have that, I'll say OK. And then that kind of gives me the overall shape of the wheel, providing me where the axle and then the overall rim of the outside where the tire would fit on. So as I go through and to take a look, I will end up clicking on, I'm going to create the, um, the outside edge of the wheel. In order to do that, I'll start a new 2D sketch on this, on this outside ring. Now I will use the Project Geometry tool to select to make it so when I go through and get this highlighted red like this I'll click I get yellow lines that show up to outline the circles from before and I also want to outline the circles from before on these two circles here when I do that I'm just going to say finish sketch and what that's going to happen is since I've already dimensioned this before I can go through and just use the project geometry lines for my extrusion so when I click extrude I will end up choosing the inside I don't want to go to the outside but here and then I want to change the thickness of that to be to be 0 0.05 so and then they say we want to do a mid plane extrusion so which would be the symmetric option or the third one here now some people will go through and make a make a little bit of a mistake and they'll forget this inner ring so you want to go through and do that so that way it looks like this just like it has in the activity document you don't want to cover up the place where the axle fits in for the car so once I have that, it's, it's a mid-plane extrusion or a symmetric extrusion by 0.05 and making sure to select the inner circles and I'll click OK. So this is the simplified kind of shape that we'll get in order to go through to create the essentially the hub of the, of the wheel itself. And then I'll go through and take a look at creating uh, a pattern on the front, so for a rim design. So as I go through, I'll create a new sketch on this front face that I just drew. Again, I'll want to go through project the geometry of this face. And then I'm going to go through and take a look at drawing in a circle. So when I draw a circle, I'm going to make sure the center point of the circle is right is vertic vertical with the origin and right on the edge of this line. So I'm going to draw out. And then what I'll end up doing is, is I'm going to go through and I will trim away the outside edge of the circle. So all I get is this semicircle that connects between the circle that was drawn with the project geometry lines. I will go through, I will dimension this arc now to be 0.25. So, and then they say that we're going to go through and need to have a closed loop extrusion. So, one thing I might do is I'll use an arc tool. So, going on the very endpoints of my of my half circle, and then I'll go through and make it fit the the uh, part here. So when I get a closed loop profile this will all be the same as well. So one of the features that we'll use to go through and create a pattern around here will be a circular pattern. So I'll click on circular pattern 
choose the geometry I want to, to pattern and then I'll go through and, and use this red arrow to select the axis to which I'll go through and choose the outside edge. When I do that I want to set in uh, five of these patterns. You'll see it will preview and show you that and then I can hit OK. So it will go through and it will set in those those five sketched features on that particular part. Our, once we have that we'll say finish sketch. I will go through and you'll choose extrude here. Once you have that closed loop profile I can choose all five of the semicircle shapes, choose the cut option and use that to cut out for the simplified wheel design. Say OK and here we have our simplified wheel as part of our CAD model.